Right, so we got something new to try. We got the Telecine GoPro remote. So this is for the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and the GoPro Max. So we've got the GoPro 10. It's actually smaller than I thought, actually. What do we have in here? I'd imagine that's a charge lead and the strap. Yeah. That's a strap. Charge lead. I think he's magnetic. Let's have a look. Yep, so that goes. Yep, that's magnetic. Switch it on. Switch the GoPro on. Connections. Wireless connection on. Connect a device. Connect a remote. Because that. Let's see if it works. Yep, yeah, that's recording. That stopped. We're well, bottom button mode. So let's take a photo, time lapse, and video. Record. Record. So now we're on video. If we press this settings one, what do we get? Oh, it goes through the settings. Point of view, basic, indoor. Standard 2.760k. That's what I normally have. And power it off. There we go, that's off. Let's see if it powers on. Yep, papers on. Record. Stop record. Turn off. So it does what it says on the tin. So that was £28 on Amazon. That's a Telesyn T10 remote controller. And I think it's £80 for the GoPro one, the official GoPro. I take it that's where the strap goes. No, it don't. 
just go that way. And from what I've read, I think the battery in this lasts about 10 hours. But what I will do, I'll have that permanently connected into the USB on the bike. So it's permanently connected. It's waterproof, so you can take it in rain, but I don't think you can submerge it in water. That's all right, that is. That'll do the job. Because the problem with having my GoPro 10 chin mounted, I can't tell if the camera's on or off. So I'll use that now. So not bad, 28 quid compared to 80 pound for the GoPro one. And I'm pretty sure you can have, I think it's five cameras connected for them all to be in sync. But there we go, that's a telescene. T10 GoPro remote controller.